long time since I've done a shopper job, which is Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I just gave it a different name. Because quite frankly, I have not even been paying attention to the new launches being posted on Trend Mood. I've been quite uninterested. You know, if something comes out from a brand that I love and I love it, then I buy it. Today's gonna be a roast because I've been getting a lot of questions about what I think of some new products coming out. So I thought it was a good time to do a shopper job. I scrolled down a couple weeks on Trend Mood 1's Instagram page, which I will link down below if you do want all of the information on new releases. If you're interested in my makeup look, I will have the products that I use down below. This tutorial I filmed for my monthly YouTube membership, Beauty Buffs. I think by the time this shopper drop is posted, I will not have this tutorial up yet, but this is what is up and coming for my YouTube membership. So if you are interested in joining, you just click the join button down there. And when you join, you get one monthly makeup tutorial. And this is this month's makeup tutorial, and it's so fun. Anyways, let's get into the goods. I scrolled back about a couple of weeks, things that I think are still somewhat relevant for me to talk about. And the first item that we have here is the YSL New Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint. I do believe this is launched now. I've never tried an item from the new line from YSL, and I don't know why, because it definitely is something that intrigues me and that I am interested in. And this product, I am interested in. For this time of year, I am a sucker for a product like this. I've been playing around a lot with cream blushes because it seems to be what you guys are interested in. I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> if I do like a big Sephora haul or something, I think I'll pick one or two up. So I am interested, but I'm not like running out of my seat to pick this up considering I've never tried anything from this line from YSL. But I really am interested in trying a few products from this line. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like I have so much makeup that <laughs> do I really want to add more products to my collection. I mean, I do, but do I need to? No, but I'm interested in this. This is actually, I think, going to give me the push to try other products from the line as well. So I am interested in that. If you've tried the line before, let me know what you think. Okay, so this one... <sighs> I'm sorry if you're a Scarlett Johansson fan, but I'm not going to be the nicest about this. Oh, let me scoot over here. Sorry. Need more room for the pictures. So coming soon to Sephora is Scarlett Han oh, Scarlet Ho Ho Jansen. Sco okay, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson is launching a skincare line. I think it's smart if celebrities are going to launch a beauty brand at this point that it be skincare. But I am so incredibly uninterested. I am tired of the celebrity skincare and makeup brands, especially when the celebrity has like no background in the field. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not a skincare junkie. I do like my skincare. I do love testing new skincare. However, my skin does not like testing new skincare, so I have to be very selective in the products that I choose. I'm not a big Scarlett Johansson fan. I, d I, don't, I don't watch very many things that she's in. I've just never... I think Jose likes her. I think she's one of Jose's favorite celebrities. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in this, and this is random, right? Anyways, let's keep moving. We're gonna start off with a hot one here. This is the Pat McGrath Labs skincare, her first skincare item. It is the Divine Skin Rose 001, the essence. So it's a skin essence that's supposed to hydrate, revitalize, and give luminous skin. I'm dropping this. I am not buying this. This is like the first Pemgrath item that I will be passing on. Don't get me wrong, it looks interesting. The packaging looks beautiful. I think it's smart for her to include skincare, but Pat McGrath is a makeup artist. I'm not interested in really buying skincare from her. And like I said, this is just coming from a standpoint of I'm not a skincare influencer. I have very sensitive skin. I can't be messing around with my skincare routine too often. This just doesn't have a place in my skincare routine, so I'm not interested. If it was a color product, a makeup product, you know I'd be all over it, but this is the first Pat McGrath Labs item in a while that I will be passing on because I'm not interested. I don't need skincare, but you know, skincare is huge right now, so it makes sense to tap into that market as a brand. But yeah, I mean, I thought it was a makeup item. When she was doing her sneak peeks and all of that, I was like, ooh, yay, exciting, and then it was this, and I was like, but it is launching tomorrow if you're interested. I will make a community tab post if you do plan on picking it up, but just, I'm not. 
I'm not interested in skincare right now. It's just not something that I need, you know? These look super interesting. These are from Givenchy and these are the Prisme Libre pressed powders. I am not as familiar with Givenchy as a makeup brand, so I will be dropping this from my list, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that this wasn't very visually appealing to me. It's something that I would like to pick up, but I certainly don't need it and I'm just not that interested. You know, Givenchy isn't a brand that I cover on my channel, but these look beautiful and I know Givenchy does gorgeous powders. I don't know if this is available yet in the US. Like, I feel like this is a product if I'm in a good mood, in a spendy mood, and I see this in Sephora, I would pick it up. So I'm not completely crossing it from the list because I do like Givenchy powders and I love how they have these color correcting tones here but I'm not going out of my way to pick it up because you know I don't need it but they look stunning. Oh my gosh there's an even bigger range. Wow okay that these look awesome. It looks like it's going to be $46. Like I'm totally interested but I don't need it but I'm interested. <laughs> Ooh okay so Sol de Janeiro came out with a new hair and body fragrance mist. I love Sol de Janeiro. I love the bum gum cream. I have it in a perfume, in a body spray, though those don't last that long. This is Fruity Florals. The keynotes are Brazilian Jasmine, Pink Dragon Fruit, Sheer Vanilla. Throw a vanilla in there and I'm all over it. I'd be interested to smell this. My only hesitation is while I do love Sol de Janeiro and I love their scents, I don't think they last the longest on the skin. <laughs> so when I use my fragrance mist from Sol de Janeiro. I like spray a ton of it and it like disappears. So I don't think I will like this, but I like the sound of it. I might wanna smell that in person first. This looks extremely interesting from me. This is from Joan Rhodes Beauty, which is Bobbi Brown's makeup brand. And I mean, maybe it's just my feed, but she's going viral on TikTok, right? And I'm so happy she brought her brand to TikTok. I, I knew about her brand before, but I just don't think there was enough interest in the brand for me to justify purchasing her products. And now it seems that there is enough interest in the brand. I am very interested. Interest in, how many times did I say that? So this is the What The Foundation Tinted Moisture Balm. So it sounds somewhat similar to what Wayne Goss just launched, what Danessa Myricks just launched. We're getting a lot of potted foundations. And of course, the Jones Rhodes Beauty brand is gonna be more about natural makeup, enhancing your natural beauty. That's not what I'm about, <laughs> as you can tell. But I am super interested. I don't know. It's already launched. These are $44 each. And I'm really interested. I, I don't know if I'm ready to pull the trigger yet, but I'm just, I'm gonna say shop because I do have it on my list of videos to eventually film buying a bunch of products from this brand and testing it out because I love Bobbi Brown. I have the Bobbi Brown books. I think she's just a cool lady. You know, I do like her perspective on makeup, though it doesn't exactly align with mine. I'm interested in this, so I'm not pulling the trigger yet, but I know eventually I will try this, and I got excited about this. So, it says it's a tinted moisturizer balm meets traditional foundation. So I'm interested. I don't know, should I get shade light or beige? Hmm, okay, we have another complexion product. This is a sneak peek. I don't believe we have a launch date on this yet. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the Faux Filter Concealer. Have they come out with a concealer before? If they have, I don't own it. I haven't had the best luck with Huda Beauty complexion products. I love their setting powder, but in terms of like foundation, I've never really liked their foundations. But I will be trying this when it comes available. So this is a shop. I don't know. I just curious. I need to know. <laughs> I don't have a lot of luck with Huda Beauty. And Huda Beauty is one of the brands that I cover on my channel. So this is something of interest to me. It says that this has a luminous matte finish. Not much more information on this, but you know, Huda Beauty is a top selling brand and they have some major hits in their line. They also have some duds. So Huda Beauty is one of those brands where they're very quick to get rid of their duds. If the people don't like it, they stop selling it <laughs> and they reformulate it. This I believe is a reformulation. We'll see. Might, I might be wrong, but I, I want to try it. Ooh, okay, so I did want to talk about this. 
Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have a launch date on this yet, but she's coming out with a beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer. This is a face and body cream bronzer. This is one of the items that I'm most excited about in today's video. Love the powder bronzers. Super excited to see what we do with the cream bronzers. I just, I have a feeling that this is going to be amazing. I mean, to me, I don't want to say Charlotte Tilbury does no wrong, but like 90% of Charlotte Tilbury's products in my eyes are amazing. I just, I have a feeling. So it looks like it's going to come in four shades. It's going to be $55. I probably will pick up both fair and medium when I order this, when it becomes available. But I'm excited about this. This is going to be good, you guys. So the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer is most definitely a shop, undoubtedly. We're getting that. We're testing that. I also see that Psy, which is a new brand, kind of on my radar that I'm low-key watching, is coming out with the Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. So what I've been so pressed on lately is the Psy Cream Bronzer. This is the only product I've ever tried from the brand, but I'm obsessed with it. I believe it is a clean beauty brand. And yeah, I'm interested in this. I'm saying drop for now. I don't have much interest in running out and getting it, but it did become available May 2nd. I mean, I haven't tried much from the brand, so I can't say too much about the brand, but I can say that the only product I tried, we have a 100% success rate, so I'm interested in eventually maybe giving this a go. Yeah, but I'm not going to pick it up now, but it's something that I'm excited to see the brand come out with. Ooh, okay, so this is is interesting so we have a first look according to trend mood of the better than chocolate collection did we need this did anybody ask for this no nobody asked for this it looks like the same palette that Too Faced has been launching for the past eight years neutrals with a pop of blue and a pop of purple this is nothing new at all Will I be buying it? Yes, I will be. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I always come back to this. The lipsticks actually look quite pretty as well, but it's a whole collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, eight cocoa bold lipsticks with a white chocolate and raspberry scent. I'm a foodie, I like the way that sounds. A chocolate lip injection and then a liquid eyeliner. So this is supposed to be coming in July, but honestly, a lot of times this stuff launches earlier, sometimes on QVC, HSN, Ulta. There's nothing interesting or new or exciting about this palette at all. But I think with a lot of us, the chocolate palettes hold such nostalgia. And if it's supposed to be better than the chocolate palettes, I'm just gonna get it to try. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, would I buy it? Absolutely not, but I am shopping it. I cannot help myself, I have to try it out, okay? Side note, this is more news than it is a launch, but did you see House Laboratories by Lady Gaga has cleaned their Instagram? And this is usually what brands will do when it's time for a rebrand and it is overdue for a rebrand, let me just say that. I just, nothing about this brand has ever interested me. The only times I've gotten anything from this brand were like in an Ipsy bag and I didn't even use them. This brand just has not appealed to me at all. I heard the products were decent, but nothing innovative or exciting about the brand. I mean, this is Lady Gaga's brand to me. It's just another celebrity cash grab. But yeah, I do think a rebrand is coming, so I'll be interested to see. I mean, I'm super interested in what is going on in the makeup market but it's not a brand that has ever really interested me and i'm happy to see them going through a rebrand because i feel as though they probably needed that this one is super interesting so another celeb makeup brand alicia keys is coming out with some color products in the keys soul care now alicia keys did recently come out with a skincare line and honestly that made sense to me more so than like the scarlett johansson line because alicia keys is all about the skin she doesn't really wear makeup she even said she wouldn't wear any makeup in the past i think she's wearing some products now i saw some people leaving hate comments like you can see she's wearing makeup blah, blah, blah. like so what? Who cares? Like, she can wear what she wants. She's done with not wearing makeup. I'm interested in those pots. I won't be picking up anything from this brand. I'm not interested. 
definitely going to end up being too natural. Won't be a product that I would ever reach for. Much rather would try Jones Rhodes Beauty. But this is interesting that she's coming out with color products considering the stance she did have a few years ago about makeup. What do you think? I'm not interested though, so yeah. I'm personally not gonna buy this collection, so this is a drop. It may or may not come in PR, I can never tell. But ColourPop collaborated with Star Wars for this, and it's not that this collection doesn't excite me, it's just that I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I just, doesn't make sense for me, but if I was a Star Wars fan, I would totally get this. I love the color story of it. I feel like it's totally Star Wars-y. I love the galaxy colors that they have in here. This is a fun one. Nobody does a collaboration better than ColourPop. This is really, really neat. I'm just not interested in Star Wars, so I wouldn't purchase it personally, but if I do get it in PR, honestly, I would not be mad, like, at all. <laughs> but no, I, I don't need this. Yeah, but it looks really cool. It's a drop for me, though, but that's just based on my own personal preferences. I'm looking through, there's just so many gimmicky things on Treadmood that I am just not remotely interested in at all. So we have this collection from Morphe. I feel like Morphe's makeup brand has kind of fallen off. People aren't as interested in it. But I mean, I think Morphe is thriving as a company because they have so many companies under their umbrella. They came out with this Gilded Desert collection. And it's, it's a lot of browns that we have going on. The palette looks extremely uninteresting to me like any other Morphe palette. Half of the palette is just repeating itself. The bronzers look nice. I mean, no shade to Morphe. I think it's really great. The quality products that Morphe can provide for the price point. I have a lot of Morphe products that I love in my collection. But this one does not appeal to me at all. It's just a lot of brown too much brown. But hey, if brown is your taste and you like Morphe, it's within your budget. This looks like a nice collection. Okay, the very last product that I wanted to talk about in today's video, another exciting one from Charlotte Tilbury. So these are the Smart On The Go kits. These look super interesting. Though one of you guys or a couple of you said that this reminds you of like a cigarette pack and that I do <laughs> agree with. But it's supposed to be like an easy three-step makeup routine. You can take it with you on the go. There are five different looks that you can get. I just, I love the whole marketing behind this. I think this is really cool. I picked up the shade Date Night in case you're wondering because it had like a pretty rosy eye color, a rosy cheek and lip color. It just really appealed to me. I wish instead of the highlight, we got a bronzer. People are stepping away from highlights now. It's more about the contour. But other than that, I'm excited. I will be reviewing it. They're $75 each, which is kind of expensive, which is why I only picked up one. But obviously, if I love it, I will probably pick up a couple more. But I will be shopping this. I already did. I will be reviewing this. I am excited for this product. It looks really interesting. I don't want to say different, but it's different for Charlotte Tilbury. We'll see. But I'm excited about this. It's very intriguing of a product to me. It does not look like anything I need. It doesn't look like anything really innovative, but I'm excited for it and I'm gonna try it. <laughs> so there we go, you guys. That was my shopper drop. It's been a while since I've done it. Felt good to just go through it, trend mood and tell you what I think of the new products. So what are you excited about? What are you bored by? Do you agree, disagree with anything that I said? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel, liking this video, all that good stuff. And if you aren't subscribed to me already, I would love it if you would consider doing that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.